Welcome to Song and Dance. Today, I'm going to show you a new thing, which is a poem entitled At the Gate of Heaven. At the gate of heaven, who can open it? The rich man said, Open it with money. Whoop, whoop, no, nope, no. Nope. The general man said, Open it with strength. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The professor man said, Open it with knowledge. Whoop, whoop, no, nope, no. Nope. The cute little child said, Open it with faith. Wow! It's opened. Wonderful children. Now I'm going to teach you the song. At the gate of heaven, who can open it? At the gate of heaven, who can open it? The rich man said, open it with money. The rich man said, Open it with money. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The general man said, Open it with strength. The general man said, Open it with strength. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The professor man said, Open it with knowledge. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The cute little child said, Open it with faith. Wow, it's opened. The cute little child said, Open it with faith. Wow, it's opened. Wonderful children. Let's present it again. At the gate of heaven, who can open it? At the gate of heaven, who can open it? The rich man said, open it with money. The rich man said, Open it with money. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The general man said, Open it with strength. The general man said, Open it with strength. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The professor man said, Open it with knowledge. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The cute little child said, Open it with faith. Wow, it's opened. The cute little child said, Open it with faith. Wow, it's opened. Wonderful children, now I'm going to teach you the motion. At the gate of heaven, who can open it? This means the gate and this means heaven. And this means who can open it? The rich man said, this means person with a lot of money. Open it with money. This means 
You open the gate of heaven with money. Whoop, whoop, nope, nope. Whoop means you're trying to open the gate of heaven. Nope means it didn't open. The general man said, General means a strong man. Open it with strength. Strength means you have a lot of strength. The professor man said, it means someone who has a lot of knowledge. Open it with knowledge means you open it with your mind and thinking. The cute little child, it means a cute little baby or child. Open it with faith, it means you it means you open it with your faith. Wow, it's opened. It means if you use faith to open the gate of heaven, it will open and you will enter. Wow, children. Now, let's teach you the motion. At the gate of heaven, who can open it? The rich man said, open it with money. Whoop, whoop, nope, nope. The general man said, Open it with strength. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The professor man said, Open it with knowledge. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The cute little child say, open it with faith. Wow, it's opened. Wonderful children. Now, let's do the motion with the point. At the gate of heaven, who can open it? The rich man said, Open it with money. Whoop, whoop, nope, nope. The general man said, Open it with strength. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The professor man said, Open it with knowledge. Whoop, whoop, nope, nope. The cute little child said, Open it with faith. Wow, it's opened. Wonderful children. Now let's do it together. At the gate of heaven, who can open it? The rich man said, Open it with money. Whoop, whoop, nope, nope. The general man said, Open it with strength. 
Whoop, whoop, no, no. The professor man said, open it with knowledge. Whoop, whoop, no, no. The cute little child said, open it with faith. Wow, it's opened. Wonderful children, I had a great time learning with you. Bye. Hello children. Hello. Yeah, today is another day. I'm very happy to meet you children. I'm very thankful also to have another chance to share with you the word of God. Today we are going to talk about the love of God. What are we going to talk about today, children? The love of God. Yes, the love of God. From the book of Genesis chapter 3. From the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 3. Yes, I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 4. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. The serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. Children, I want to talk about the love of God. But before that, I want to express and to tell you why God loved us. What kind of people God loved. Here we know God created Adam. Children, do you know Adam? Yes. Yes, God created the first man in this world, Adam. When Adam was created by God, he had the heart of God, he had the love of God, he had the all qualifications of God. He was holy, perfect, and everything that God had. Because God said, let's create man as our, like my image. So Adam was the image of God, children. Then after God created Adam, God also made a very beautiful garden called Garden of Eden. Yes, children, Garden of Eden. So when God made this beautiful garden, he placed Adam there and his wife, who? Eve. Yes. But God said, Adam, in this garden, there are very many different kinds of trees and fruits. But I have allowed you to take every fruit in, it, in this garden. But don't take the fruit of good and evil. The fruit of good and evil, yes. But you know what, children? When God created Adam, also the devil was just around. Joseph had everything that God told Adam. So secretly, serpent, the devil, went to Eve, the wife. And he talked to Eve. You mean God has said you should not eat every tree of the garden? But because Eve did not know the exact word of God, Eve was tempted and later Eve took the fruit and also gave it to his husband, Adam. And Adam took the fruit. From that day, Adam, from that day, Adam took the fruit, children. All human beings became sinners. All human beings became sinners. God really was not happy with Adam, was not happy. Because Adam did not obey his voice. Because Adam disobeyed God. So because of Adam, we all became sinners, even you children. But you know what? Although God created Adam, although Adam committed sin, although Adam rejected the heart of God, although Adam disobeyed God, but God is love. Children, God is 
love. God is love, children. After God and Adam became enemies, God thought, what can I do? I'm the one who created this man. So, let me think another way of saving my human being, the man I created. Although God is God of anger, but also God is God of love. You know what, children? Immediate Adam, when Adam took the fruit, Adam was naked. Then Adam tried, what can I do to hide myself? What can I do to hide my naked? Then Adam used the leaves. Example, the banana leaves, they look very wide. So Adam used to pick the leaves and hide himself, took another leaf and hid himself. After, in the evening, they are all dry. Then he found again another leaves. Then he hide again. But every day he does like that, he could always be naked in the evening. Every evening, although in the morning he takes a very good and fresh leaves and hid himself. In the evening, it is, even before evening, the leaf is dry. So, Adam was just every time struggling to hid his naked. Together with his wife Eve. But some days later, God came again in the Garden of Eden. You know what? When God visited the Garden of Eden, let's read chapter 3, verse 21. Chapter 3, children, verse 21, it says, Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothed them. Remember, children, Adam is now naked, struggling to heal his naked is himself together with his wife. Also, God knew Adam is struggling. Adam is struggling to cover himself. So God is God of love. God visited them again in the Garden of Eden and with an animal, with a sheep, God killed the sheep and took the skin and covered Adam and Eve. From that day, Adam was not naked again. So as God did this, we want to see the spiritual and the meaning of this thing God did to Adam. The killing of the animal and the covering of the tunic skin. I told you children, God is full of love and mercy. I want to give you one story. There's one father who had a very handsome son. Although the son was, he was the only son. And the father was a driver. The father used to drive these big, big and long buses. So as the father was working, every day he used to pass in the evening, in the morning. He used to pass on the way because their house was just near the road. So the father used to go to the company, used to go and take the bus, and just work as normal. Just passes from one town to another. Every week he used to pass and see his son. So the son knew, my father is a driver. He normally passes in, a, in this road. So every time he could prepare himself and just go and sit beside the road waiting to his Father, waiting for his father to come. I said, Dad, why are you dad? This is what the son used to do. It was his normal routine. So one day, this son, he did not see his father for almost one, two months. He did not see his father. So he asked his mom, Mom, where's my father? Now I don't see my father. Where is he? Is he still alive? Is my father around? Then the mother explained to his, his son, Ah, oh, my son, don't worry. 
Your father was employed, but he, sometimes he's changing. He's not, he cannot use the same road every time. Sometimes he's given another buses to another direction. Sometimes he's given another buses to another destination. Tell us, my son, it is not every time and normally every time to see your father because sometimes they keep on changing his route. Then the, the son understood, okay, okay. But mama, I'm missing my father, I'm missing my father. So one day, the father called. He said, I'm not coming in that way, so I want to see my son. Today, I've been changed my shift to my son, my home direction. So when the son heard that, that was very happy, oh, now I've seen my father. So the son prepared himself with a very uh, joyful heart, hoping to see his father. Then he went and sat beside the road. Then immediately he saw his father coming because he knew the bus. He knew the buses. He knew real the, the buses, the bus that the father was driving. He knew even the plate number, the color, he knew. But let me tell you, children, when the father was driving the car, the car was the bus was full of passengers, over 60 passengers in the car. So he was trying to calm. Now he was driving as normal. He was driving. But the, the, when the son saw the father, he was happy. My dad, my dad, father, father, they are coming. But because the father was just speeding the car, he didn't know his son was on the way. Also, he didn't know the bus had a problem. So because now the bus was loping to the nearest town, he knew that is my son coming. But the son, he knew, ah, my father, when my father sees me, he's going to slow down the bus. Not knowing the bus had problem. So bus, the father drives, drives, drove the bus, drove the bus. Almost on the way, near to his son, he knew this bus has problem, but the son didn't know. The son was eager, wanting to greet his father. Children, you know what happened? The father was in a shock. He thought, what can I do? The son, my son is coming very fast. He wants to greet me. But the bus is not in good condition. So I have to stop the bus. If I won't stop the bus, I'm going to kill my son. Then what can I do? Because in the, in the bus, I have more than 60 passengers. So I have to be very careful whether to kill my, to kick my son on the way or to save the people in, my, in the bus. So the father was struggling, was struggling. What can I do? What can I do? The son did not children. You know what happened? The father decided. Although I love my son, but the people in this bus are very many. Over 60. How many people? Over 60 people. And these are old people. They have parents, they have grandparents, they have their children, they have their grandchildren. What can I do? You know what children? The father decided. It's better I kill, I knock, I knock my son than all these passengers dying in the car. So the father struggled. Ah, oh, but later he decided. Although I love my son, but let me save the people who are in my bus. There are very many. Children, the father decided. And he knocked the son, because although he was struggling, boom, 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 just holding the car so that the child can know. But the child thinks, ah, oh, my father has seen me. Also, my father is happy. My, also, my father wants to greet me. He didn't know the father was giving him a signal to know that the bus is not in a good condition. The father was telling the son, move away from the way, move away on the way. I'm coming. The son did not know the heart of his father. So the father decided, children, the father killed the son and saved the people in the bus. 
some are strange children. Can you imagine your father killing you and save other people who are not his blood, neither his relatives? This is God, children. This is God. The father decided, let me kill my, father, my son and save the many people in my bus. Not because he wants to be employed. Not because he, want to, he, don't, he doesn't want to risk. No, because he has the love of many people in this bus than one son. Then he killed his son. Children, this is God. This is God. I know children, you know about Jesus. Is it children? Children, do you know about Jesus? Yes. Children, do you know about Jesus? Children, do you know about Jesus? Yes. Yes. Jesus died on that cross. I know you know. You know about Jesus who died on that cross, the Son of God. But why did Jesus come in this world? Jesus is the Son of God. We are all here in this world, children. As you know, Adam made us sinners. Why? Because he disobeyed God. But another side, God wants to save us. God is God of love. I know, children, there's this song you know about the love of Jesus. Jesus loves us, children. The love of Jesus, sweet and marvelous, the love of Jesus, sweet and marvelous, the love of Jesus. The love of Jesus is sweet and marvelous. Why? Jesus came in this world to save all human beings from their sins. It is true, children, we are all sinners. We are all going to hellfire. Why? Because we are dirty. We are sinners. We cannot go to heaven, children. God is holy. Jesus is holy. Heaven is holy. How can we sinners go to heaven? So, children, as Jesus came in this world to die for us, God the Father, he loved his son, Jesus, very much. But although he loved his son Jesus, he thought of all these billions of people in this world. He thought of you, he thought of Chinese, he thought of Koreans, he thought of Africans, he thought of Americans, he thought of Arabs. He thought of all kinds of people in this world, billions of billions. I love them. Although I love my son, Jesus Christ, but I also love these people whom I created, like the bus driver. So he thought, what can I do? Whom should I send? Remember, children, in the book of Genesis chapter 23, verse 21, God killed a sheep and covered Adam and Eve with a tunic skin. Likewise, God gave us Jesus Christ. Jesus is the sheep, Jesus is the lamb, which God killed in Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. Jesus is the son who was killed by the bus driver. And we, we are the passengers in the bus. We are the people in this world. We could not save ourselves because we are sinners. God uses only the blood. So Jesus who had no sin, he died for us. Jesus who had no sin, he died for us, children. Children, do you believe that? Do you believe Jesus died for you? Yes. Do you believe children? Yes. Yes. Jesus died for us. Then if Jesus died for us, are we sinners or righteous? Righteous. Really? Yes. Yes, we are righteous. Why? Because of Jesus. Because of who children? Jesus. Yes, because of Jesus. Sometimes people think, no. I am a sinner. 
Because yesterday I fought. Yesterday I speak lie. I spoke lie. Some people think because of what I'm doing, I'm a sinner. No, children. Because of Adam who disobeyed, we all became sinners. Children, let's read together Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Let's read together Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Romans chapter 5. Verse 19. Are you there, children? Are you there? Yes. Are we together, children? Yes. Yes. Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Yes. It says, For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So also, by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Children. We are sinners because of who? Adam. We are sinners because of? Adam. Yes. And now here, we are righteous because of who? Jesus. Yes, children. We are righteous because of Jesus Christ. Is it difficult, children, to believe that? Yes. Is it difficult to believe? No, it is not difficult to believe that. What God wants from us is just to remove all our thoughts. Jesus wants faith only from us. We believe Jesus died on the cross. Jesus loved us. God loved us. He killed his son, Jesus Christ. Because of who? Because of me, because of you. He died, Jesus. He was persecuted, he was wounded, he was beaten. Why? Because of me, because of you. Instead of us going to hellfire, Jesus came so that he can save our life and lead our life to heaven. Children, do you believe there's heaven? Yes. Do you believe there's heaven, children? Yes. Yes, there's heaven. So in this world, there are only two kind of people. There are sinners and righteous people. Do you understand, children? Yeah. yeah. In the Bible, there's Adam and Eve. Eve. There's Cain and Abel. Abel. There's Jacob and Esau. Yes. Also in this world, there are sinners and righteous yeah. people. Who are sinners, children? Those who don't believe. If you don't believe that Jesus took all your sins away 2,000 years ago, then you remain sinner, 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 going to hellfire. But to those who believe, ah, Jesus took all my sins away. I'm righteous, I'm holy, I'm perfect. Then these such people will go to heaven. Children, do you want to go to heaven or do you want to go to hellfire? Heaven. You want to go to heaven? Yes. Yes, then you want, if you want to go to heaven, do sinners go to heaven? Do no. sinners go to heaven? No. No, sinners go to hellfire. They go there and burn, they burn, they burn forever, forever, children. So if you fear God, if you fear hellfire, then believe Jesus took all your sins away. God loved us before we were born, children. God loved us before we were created. God loved us and killed his son, Jesus Christ, children, so that we can go to heaven. Children, I love you, children, but God loves you so much. God loved you 2,000 years ago. Just believe Jesus who took your sins away. The bus driver killed his son because of the passengers in the bus. Also, God killed his son, Jesus Christ, because of us. 
so that you can be holy, so that you can be righteous. This is the love of God. If you believe this, then there is hope for heaven. You will have hope. You will live a very happy life in this world. You will live a very happy life knowing that you will go to heaven any time you leave this world. Children, heaven is real and also hellfire is real. Just believe Jesus who took all our sins away. We were made holy. We were made righteous. We were made perfect. By who? By who, children? By God. Through who? Jesus Christ. Through who, children? Jesus Christ. Yes. I was a sinner. You are a sinner. My father was a sinner. You are father. You are parents. You are grandparents. But Jesus took all our sins away. So we were covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. When we are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, we are no longer sinners, but we are righteous people. We are righteous, righteous people. people. We are righteous people. Children, I love you so much. Just believe the Bible and let's receive the word of God. Let's receive the love of God. Let's receive the word of Jesus and the love of Jesus who died on the cross because of our sins. Thank you, children. Till next time, I love you. See you. Bye. Bye.